in order to make the accessibility work, and given the fact that all of the members were part-time, they would come together uh, for the parole hearing. They would receive packages of information uh, a few days prior to the parole hearing, and the information had to be tight, it had to be succinct, it had to be comprehensive, and they would complete uh, the reading of the materials, the interviews of the inmates uh, in the institutions, and would then discuss the, uh, uh, the, the matter before them and come to a decision. Those decisions would then be verbally given to the offender before they left the parole hearing room. Um, the decisions were then signed off, the paper was signed, and uh, all of the documentation flowed from those hearing days. So the parole board members, uh, uh, in order to maintain that part-time uh, accessibility, uh, their job was confined to reading packages before a hearing, uh, committing to a hearing date in their local community, or sometimes we would send them to other regions. There, there was cross-fertilization across regions. And when they left the hearing day, their work essentially was done for that hearing. It meant that the, the process had to be really succinct. It had to be uh, confined and limited. We had community assessments that came from probation officers in the field. We had assessments that came from the institutional staff. The inmate was allowed to bring a representative to the hearing and that was a policy that the BC Parole Board uh, implemented, I think, certainly fully long before it was implemented elsewhere. Uh, and uh, the process was confined to that one hearing day. All the paper then flowed out, all the appropriate institutions and justice were notified of the decision, and, uh, and if there was a release, the release took place uh, uh, soon after the hearing day. Yes, we uh, established a, a hearing uh, panel of two members at any given hearing. Now, there were some requirements to the Federal Parole Act where three members were required, but they were rare. And so, um, for the most part, the majority of hearings were, uh, were done with a two-member panel. Now, just to reflect uh, for a moment on Mike's comments about the preparation of all of this information and the reason that it was, it was so efficient was that the Corrections Branch, through an administrative agreement between the Board and the Branch, provided the services of a parole coordinator in each of the provincial prison institutions. And that person was assigned the responsibility of ensuring that all of the reports had been collected and distributed to the members in advance. Now the, uh, the only time uh, that a third member was required beyond which the, pro, the Federal Pro Board um, or the Pro Act required was when there was a split decision and that did happen uh, periodically. And so what we would do is that we would defer the decision and arrange another hearing as soon as possible with only one member who would similarly read the documents, interview the offender and then cast his or her vote. And by doing so, uh, you would get a majority vote of two out of three. The BC Parole Board was dealing primarily with inmates who were probably serving sentences of three, four months or more, up to the two years less a day. That was the majority of the people that found it worthwhile to go to the effort of putting their parole application together. While I'm on this, I think one of the really important policies that was set by the board at that time uh, was that it was the inmate's responsibility to initiate an application before the board. There was no automatic review process by the parole board. Uh, the inmate had to do it. The inmate had to generate uh, the whole process. 
In order for that to happen, there obviously had to be assistance to that inmate. And the board uh, ensured that through this administrative agreement with the corrections branch that services were provided to inmates and institutions to learn about what their options were, to put a, an application together so that it could be checked out, and to, to, to initiate that whole parole application process. The board provided materials to assist in that process, including a video that was done here, in fact, at the Justice Institute, uh, that was used throughout the province. But the inmate had to initiate the process or there was no automatic review of the parole application.